What's going on guys? It's Bucky and welcome to another episode of Don't Try This at Home. In this video, we're going to be making plasma with a grape. So these are the supplies that we're going to be using for this experiment. The first thing that we need is a glass. And I say glass instead of cup because some cups are plastic and we're actually going to be putting this in the microwave and if you put a plastic cup in the microwave, it can of course melt. Another thing that you need is a seedless grape. Now any old seedless grape from the grocery store is going to work fine. It doesn't matter what color they are or anything like that. And the last thing that you need is a knife. Now we're going to be using the knife to cut the grapes. And I actually recommend a plastic butter knife because whenever we cut these grapes, as you're going to see, we don't want to go all the way through the grape. We want to leave a little bit of skin attached. So if you use a really sharp steak knife or anything like that, you might accidentally cut all the way through it. So I recommend a butter knife or just a regular plastic knife. Now let me go ahead and show you guys how to prepare the grape. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to cut the bottom half off. And the bottom half is of course the half with a stem. So go ahead and cut that completely off. So we can get rid of this. You can go ahead and eat it, whatever you want to do. Now for the top half, what you want to do is you want to kind of butterfly it. I guess that's the proper name for the technique. And this part is the part where I was talking about. You don't want to cut it all the way through. You want to leave a little bit of skin attaching the two halves. So go ahead and actually probably a little bit less. So it's just connected by a thin piece of skin. So the first thing I want to do is I just want to take the grate by itself and set it in the microwave just like that so the flat part is facing up and again make sure that you don't rip it make sure the halves are still connected by a thin piece of skin now go ahead and close it now let me go ahead and start this for about 30 seconds and we'll see what happens now as you can see that's the plasma coming from the grape so what I want to try to do now is I actually want to try and capture that with a glass so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a new grape and put it right in the middle. And I'm also going to take a glass and put it right on top, kind of like a dome. So basically, I want to make sure that this glass right here isn't touching the sides of the grape. So let me go ahead and close this, start it for a minute, see what happens. So now what I did is I actually took three grapes and put them in there together because, you know, why not? If one was cool, three should be awesome. Now I'm going to go ahead and take that glass and put it right on top, kind of like a dome. And I want to make sure that I capture some of the plasma. And it's important not to uh, touch the side of the grapes with your glass. So go ahead and set it up just like that. Now I'll put this on for about a minute and let's see what happens. Now even though this probably isn't a good idea, in this one I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing but I'm going to be using a smaller plastic cup. I think it will make the effects work a little bit better. So go ahead and close your door and we'll see how this one works. So that's probably enough of that before I, you know, burn down my house or anything. So uh, let me go ahead and open this up and I better air this out. Alright guys, now let me go ahead and get a little bit scientific because I want to explain to you guys exactly what you saw. So basically, a grape is full of electrolytes. Now an electrolyte is pretty much a liquid that contains a lot of charged particles or ions. Now since these particles in grapes have a charge, that makes the grape itself very good at conducting electricity. Now of course, as you saw, the grapes were connected by a thin piece of skin, and the skin pretty much acts as a path between the ion-filled halves of the grape. Now the energy from the microwave is going to move the ions back and forth between the two halves. Now eventually what's going to happen is the path between the grapes is going to burn up and that's going to cause the ions to have to travel through the air across the gap. Now this process, of course, ionizes the air, and that's what creates the awesome looking plasma. So that's what plasma is. 
It's like gas, but it has a lot of free electrons and positively charged ions floating around. Now, in normal situations, what would happen is these two particles would combine and form a nice, stable particle. But the reason that doesn't happen in this situation is because, basically, the electrons absorb so much energy from the microwave, they get ripped off the particle, and this, of course, causes the electrons to separate from the positively charged ion, and basically, whenever you have the two moving around freely, it creates an awesome-looking plasma. So that's a more detailed or scientific explanation of exactly what we saw. Now, before I let you guys go, I want to mention this. Even though I'm telling you guys not to try this at home, I got a feeling some people are not going to take my advice. They're going to get the sudden urge. They have to try it. Now, for those people, even though that's probably a bad idea, please at least do this. Do not breathe the gas that gets created whenever you do this. Do it in a well-ventilated area because this creates a very harmful and toxic gas. So again, my recommendation is, of course, no one try this at home. But if you do, please do not breathe the gas that gets created. So anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.